aquí como no se mantenga lo que es la pesquería, esto va en decadencia, esto año tras año va cayendo y... ...es algo que es abismal, lo estamos viendo estos últimos años... ...que cada vez la pesca va cayendo más... ...y como no le pongamos algún remedio esto... No, ...aquí no hay futuro, esto está claro que en huerta de 10 años... ...o 15 esto está todo perdido". Fish are central to the health of our oceans and the livelihoods of our fishers and fishing communities. By improving fisheries management and preventing overfishing, we can support marine ecosystems to be resilient to the effects of climate change while increasing long-term yields, profits and benefits for our fishing communities. But with the majority of assessed EU fish populations currently overfished and many more of unknown status, we urgently need to ensure that fishing fleets are properly managed, monitored and controlled. In order to safeguard the future of fishing, regulators need reliable and timely catch data to inform responsible management decisions and ensure that recommended fishing limits are set at sustainable levels for all EU stocks. We all have an interest in having compliance and we all have, in, have an interest in documenting that we actually uh, count all the fish we take. And, uh, and, and one of the ways to do that, uh, or perhaps rather the way to do that, is by using remote electronic monitoring, REM. Remote electronic monitoring, or REM, is an onboard recording system that logs details of a range of fishing activities. Sensors monitor gear usage and fishing activity. Cameras in key positions above and below deck record the catch and processing areas, while GPS logs the boat's position and movements. All the data is recorded securely on a central hard drive on board. Crucially, instead of having to watch thousands of hours of footage, the system's gear sensors allow analysts to determine exactly when a vessel is fishing and therefore the most relevant section to review. Data provided by REM will also be hugely valuable in monitoring and preventing the bycatch of vulnerable or threatened species. A crucial innovation at a time when more than 200,000 seabirds and many tens of thousands of marine mammals die as a result of fishing activities in EU waters every year. After two decades of extensive trials, REM has become a vital and irreplaceable tool that has been successfully implemented in numerous fisheries worldwide and we are already witnessing its transformational impact. The use of REM has really been shown here in Australia and around the world to be one of the key monitoring tools that underpins effective fisheries management decision making. And, and we've seen this, it has achieved um, uh, greater levels of information and the ability for long-term sustainability of fish stocks which maximises profitability back to the fishing industry as well as to the, uh, to the government. And yes, it does require some leadership and some close consultation with the fishing industry and other stakeholders, but there are now plenty of examples by which the EU can, can really take on board and have quite a, a level of confidence in its implementation. The introduction of REM on board fishing vessels is an opportunity to ensure that the EU can maintain its position as a global leader in fisheries governance. But REM is not only a tool for fisheries managers. As stewards of the ocean, this technology will place fishers and the data that they collect through their catches at the very heart of the management process, bridging the gap between industry and the authorities. At the same time, REM can provide responsible fishers with verifiable evidence that can be used to maintain access to key clients and gain high-profile sustainability certifications. And with consumers increasingly willing to pay extra for sustainable food, REM could deliver high-profile profits while building trust, ensuring sustainability and safeguarding livelihoods. When the government comes with this opportunity to get the CCTV on board, of course we are a little bit nervous about it. Especially the guys on board the ship, they think that was not good. What would what, what they use it for? Will, will they use it against this, you or, or with you? What the camera system can do for the fish dog is that the fishermen will 
think a little bit different. He will think more about selective gears and the way of fishing and in the area he's fishing. Because of you won't like to have a discard when you're on this camera system, of course. So you make a more um, clean fishing. Last year we were around 2% of discard in our fishing on the, on the codfish, so, so that's nothing. It's, it's a modern world, it's a public resource, and we, uh, the social license we discussed, uh, we need to prove to the public at large that we are responsible um, stewards of, of this resource. And so uh, you can't do it without 100% monitoring. You can't do it with 10% monitoring. You can't do it with 50% monitoring. It has to be 100% monitoring because you have to level the playing field. And that's the situation in, uh, in our region. And uh, it's not comparing apples to oranges. It's, it's apples and apples everywhere. Fishermen are the same all over the world. Although we will argue we're not just in order to, uh, to avoid the inevitable. To introduce REM on every single one of Europe's fishing boats over 12 meters in length would carry an annual cost of around 64 million euros. That's less than 1% of the revenue of Europe's fishing fleet. For that, we get far more comprehensive coverage than traditional monitoring systems would provide, and at a much lower cost. I believe REM is the solution. It's easy to use, it's very reliable on a technical level. What we need now with a new policy is moving from the trial into the permanent management. And this is up to the member states to ensure that this happens. The implementation of REM on fishing vessels in EU waters is a cost-effective, fully tested and technologically achievable opportunity to position the EU as a world leader in sustainable fisheries management and will help to ensure that marine biodiversity is protected for generations to come.